I can use custom tools to merge sheet metal of the same thickness and material into the same DXF or DWG file during my batch conversion operation. So here I will select the merge DXF profile that I have created. So I only need to select the part. So now I start uh, the merge. So what Custom Tools is doing now is that it is just uh, from the port creating a DXF or DWG file based on the thickness and material used. So now the files have been uh, created. So as we can see here, we have like three different uh, files with the uh, thickness inserted at the end of the file name. And this is the type of output file that we are able to create. In addition, we are able to insert some uh, nodes. So the nodes can fully be customized with our custom properties. And we are also able to insert the manufacturing quantities inside the DXF document. Custom tools can be used to automate the conversion of your sheet metal in DXF or DWG format. So here I have this uh, sheet metal where I have some dimensions, some nodes inserted, it could be like some bending lines as well, and the view is scaled 1 to 5. So when I click on the CNC tool, custom tools automatically remove those uh, annotations nodes, also flatten the view and scales it one to one, making it ready to be converted to a DXF format. So now I can show you that the document uh, does not exist already. And what custom tool will do is that during the save operation, it will automatically convert the sheet called DXF sheet into a DXF. And also I have configured custom tools to configure the sheet 2 into a PDF. So here we have the two formats. So here we have the DXF sheets uh, that was converted into uh, DXF uh, formats. So now the file is now ready.